Today on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series, the world's best snowcross racers square off in the heart of Snowmobile County at the Hayward Power Sports Polaris 300 National. Will Ross Martin continue to lead the points battle? What about first year pro Tim Tremblay and fan favorite Levi LaValle? The battle to be number one is on the line. So flat out hard driving is the theme today. How do the top pros tap extra power from their sleds? Host Misha Johnson has an all-access pass for a sneak peek into the latest techniques. The Monster Energy Slidnex Invasion Tour is ready to blast off. Paul Thacker and the crew suspend the rules of gravity and showcase what a snowmobile is capable of. Hang on, folks. From big sleds to big air to even really big fish. The green flag flies on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series today from the Hayward Power Sports Polaris 300 National. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, and we are here in Hayward, Wisconsin, at the Hayward Power Sports Polaris 300 National. Now, with only two races to go, this weekend is going to play critical in who will take the points battle championship. So, let's hear from the guys and how they strategize on getting to the top of the box. Guys, take it away. Oh gosh, I'm really excited. You know, we had a we had a good run last weekend in Sarnia, and I got home. I was just excited to get on the podium and I get home and my mom's like hey you're in second in points so I'm like oh okay that's cool so you know hopefully I can just put together some consistent rides you know here at Hayward and then eventually at Geneva and and you know I'd love to be able to stay up in second maybe give uh, give Ross a run for his money. The conditions of the track have been really good for us our sleds are working awesome. My strategy is kind of just go out there and try and win every race but uh it, um, it's not as easy as it sounds, I guess, so I uh, just go out there and do the best I can do. I have 28 points in the lead, so I still have like a little bit of, I can have like a little bit mistake, but not too much. I just want to be like consistent and don't like, don't know DNF and no crash and nothing. All right, well that's what the riders think. Now let's hear from the announcers in the booth. Guys, take it away. Thanks, Misha. Mike Schroeder along with race analyst Farron Meeks here in Hayward, Wisconsin. It's the eighth stop on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. We're behind the LCO Casino. A lot of snow in Hayward this year. A lot different track than last year, Farron. No doubt about it, Mike. I'll tell you what, it is big. It's a Pocono shape as they go off the line. Well, they take and head off that starting grid right into turn number one. And of course, a couple of different lines here. They've got kind of a grenade section here. It's a little bit different inside than outside as they head into turn two. Turn two, two big firms, and they come into that back stretch. Back stretch now, you can go double, double, double in a single, or a huge double, a small double, and a huge triple into turn three. On board with Logan Christian as he goes into that third turn. Only three turns here on this racetrack. As we talked about Pocono, they'll go across the Amsoil finish line, and that's a lap around the racetrack here. Getting ready, coming up, it's the Hayward Power Sports Polaris Hayward 300 presented by the LCO Casino. Getting ready for Caterpillar Pro Superstock Qualifying. This is heat one of round one qualifying. Beautiful blue skies there. Great racing conditions, drivers getting ready to go. Big, huge track here, Mike. It's gonna be fun. Lots of real estate, lots of lines to take. We should look for a lot of passing. Ross Martin, there you see Levi Lavalle talking to one of his crew members, getting ready to go. He's got that little visor there to help with the roost. Robbie Malinowski, another one of the Polaris drivers on that Air Force Amsoil Polaris. Just about ready to go. Starters orders, you see the throttles in hand, ready, just hanging tight here. Green they go. And into that corner, as we've seen on the helmet can before, and oh, Ross Martin just barely getting together with Brett Turcott, and Turcott comes off track. Turcott land, lined way up on the outside of that track on the start, and he got pushed off. Well, let's go back out on the racing circuit where you see Robbie Malinowski out in front. It is all Polaris, one, two, and three. Lavalle gets the whole shot, but Malinowski took the lead. So it's Robbie Malinowski right behind him, Levi Lavalle, and then Ross Martin, and here comes Martin. 
Martin on the outside taking that same line as Malinowski. Let's see if it works for him as he battles with Levi Lavalli. Well, Lavalli trying to be crafty on the inside and Levi trying a couple of different lines. He kind of cased it there, but still will slot in and continue after two laps to stay in second place. So it's Malinowski still out front, Lavalli, and then Martin in third. Now you see the two distinct lines. Levi is going to try the inside here. Levi, oh, it goes to the outside, and Levi's off. Boy, it looked like he came in the hole. Let's watch it here in the replay. As he came into the turn, just kind of catching a hole that had kind of gotten dug out. I don't know if there was really any contact, but boy, that soft, wet snow, it just eats you right up. It's really hard to tell, Mike, whether there was contact in that corner, but you got it right. Soft snow, Levi's off. Well, that will put Malinowski up front, and it is now Ross Martin on the trail of that number four Polaris. Here they go into turn number one, the two distinct lines. You see Levi down there trying to get his sled squared away and straightened out back on course. But out front again, it is still Robbie Malinowski. But Ross Martin in tow, and he is right there. Boy, they are bumper to bumper right now, Mike. Here they come into that turn three sweeper. Big turn, they'll come across to the AMZO finish line. Oh! Martin getting together with Malinowski. I don't know how he stayed on there. Well, he came to that inside line, tried it there. Not going to happen. Robbie shut the door. Well, Robbie playing some defense there as he is out front. Davis is in third and Tremblay working on him. So some good racing all over the racetrack here. There you see Corey Davis right behind him. The NSK skidoo out of Warner Brother racing of Tim Tremblay. Tremblay trying to track down Davis here. Davis and Tremblay having a good battle across the finish line. Up front you see Malinowski and Martin going bar to bar into turn number one. Malinowski on the inside, Martin on the outside. They go into turn two, and it looked like Ross Martin was just able to power around Robbie Malinowski. Martin in turn one took that outside line. We'll take a look at it again here. The outside line just pushed hard on that outside line, pushed himself until he got just in front of Malinowski, and into turn two, he takes the advantage. They, of course, transition into the back part of the racetrack, and we pick back up on the racetrack as they come across to complete another lap. Now another good battle, we've talked about this a little bit, is the big driver out of Quebec, Canada, that Tim Tremblay. Look at him as he works all over, and the same thing gets right around Corey Davis. Tremblay with the inside line that time, took advantage of that line and made it work, but Davis isn't done here. Nope, they take and pick back up. There's that triple we talked about going into turn number three. Both of them getting a little ruse from Robbie Malinowski as we complete another lap. Martin's out in front, Malinowski in second, now Tremblay in third, and Corey Davis in fourth, still trying to create a little battle there for that third place spot. Back up front we go, Ross Martin out in front, working through the back part of the racetrack. Malinowski on the inside, it's Ross Martin on the outside. Martin just looking so smooth up in front. He's finding lines, he's taking his time, he's paying attention to where he is on the track, and he's just cranking it up out there. Well, he's cranking it up, so is Tim Tremblay. Look at Tremblay. Tremblay takes a run at Robbie Malinowski, and he gets around the Amsoil Air Force Polaris. Just pins it down the front stretch, gets past Malinowski, takes the advantage into turn one. There you see our race leaders. They work through the back part of the racetrack. There's the double coming in, taking the other double. Then the little kicker as it goes into three, they'll make the big sweep back towards the Amsoil finish line. Checkered flag is out. Ross Martin takes a win. Tim Tremblay in second. Third place will go to Robbie Malinowski. That's the way they finish up. Let's go down to the pits with Misha Johnson. You know, everyone says consistency is key, but you know, in racing, you just never know because you don't know who's gunning for you, who really wants to get, you know, in your position. So what do you do when you're sitting on the line and you know the flag's about to drop? What do you, what's going through your mind? Um, kind of crazy thoughts. I mean, I've tried to do the whole strategy. This is what I need to do. This is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. it, it never works out. You know, it's always a mess. So I just go out and have fun and, and try to race as hard as I can. When the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series returns, the open mod sleds are ready to rumble. In the stock class, the same sleds you can drive off the dealership floor are on the line. Wait till you see what they can do in the hands of the world's best racers. The Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series is brought to you by Amsoil, Parts Unlimited, Skidoo, and by Caterpillar.